Hey, it's Ninja Boy. Welcome back once again to another hack. This one is Super Mario World The Old West, Demo 1.2. And things aren't fully boating well already, judging by the intro screen. Um, welcome to the to West Dinosaur Land. Princess Peach has been stolen again, but careful. Bowser's minions are more annoying than ever. Okay, let's go into Yoshi's house. Looks a bit longer than I was uh, thinking it might be. But let's see where things go. So I can go left. I'm guessing Switch Palace, so Emerald Island 1. Let's just check this out. So nice, uh, nice little simple starting level right now. Nothing all too special about it. Non-super giant fast bullet bonsais, which is nice. I mean, it was, uh, they were hilarious the very first time I saw them, but after that it was like, ah, oh, I hate these things. Okay, well, there's a mushroom. Mushroom, mushroom, in there. And a block. Power button will turn coins into blocks if pressed, but hurry, the POWs effects do not last long. Well, that is obvious. I mean, for me, anyway. Uh, I always, I have to take into account, I don't know, do those, are these moving slower than the original Mario World? I don't know. But yeah, I have to take into account, uh, <laughs> whenever there's a message block that, hey, it might not be geared towards seasoned players, if you want to call me seasoned. They're just there for, you know, everyone! New players, in general. So, still have not run across a POW block. Uh, at the end of every level, there's, yeah... Getting higher score on it will get you to the bonus level. Oh, someone forgot to remove the ASM playback hack. Uh, you want to do that. You always want to remove it after it's done. It does not change the intro screen. It just fixes the overworld graphics because that happens. Also, there is some slowdown because of massive amounts of sprites. Which, I'm kind of glad this is not just a pure copy of the original Switch Palace, but you didn't change the graphics, so you get those horrible messed up graphics. Let's actually wait. If I can re-enter this, yes I can. I am wondering, because most people who make these re-enterable do not realize that uh, I do believe you cannot start select out of them. I could be wrong though. Okay, I am wrong. You can start select out of them, but there's no way to truly beat the level again. Anyway, Emerald Island Cave, it's red, but I do not know if it's going to be secret exited or not. I'm kind of... I don't know. I'm really wondering if it will or not. So let's check every pipe. Every pipe ever. Jump on a turtle so he falls in a hole. That is what you do with turtles. You jump on them. Or if you're playing Far Cry 3 like I have, you murder them! Even though they're endangered or rare. One of the two. I can't really remember. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Getting that. There a... No thing to get there. At least not that I saw. And again, I have not seen any... Well, maybe... Nope. It had coins over it. And... You should not have spinies as red buzzy beetles. No matter what your... Hey, look, these are beetles that are all something. Star block after you collect at least 
30 coins, you will get a 1-up. Well, let's see. There's a thing up there. So, somewhere, there is an upper path that is causing super slowdown because of, I'm assuming, Charlie's up there. Charlie's caused slowdown. And freaking... Yeah. You should not have this many Charlie's on screen. Uh, well, let's see if I can at least figure out the secret exit path here. Because it does exist somewhere. Somewhere in the recesses of this level, there is a path that goes up. I just don't know where it would be. No idea of where it would be. Oh, uh, not there. I'm assuming it would be where that one dragon coin was. But I don't see a way up there. Yeah, I do not see... Unless it is... No? Nothing there. Yeah, nothing there. Nothing there. So yeah, it's here. Maybe I need to fly? I don't know. This is getting bug me though. Anyway, let's just continue on really quick. Emerald Island 2. And come back to that later. Maybe I will get a cape and I will be able... Okay, what just hurt me? Really, what? There is something invisible right there. Wait. Who sworn I saw a muncher there for a second. That was very weird. Maybe it was one of those jumpy guys that I saw for a second. I think it might have been. And let's wait for this guy to go through there and see what's up with the bottom one. Because it's something. It's a fire flower. <laughs> I don't need... And massive amounts of turtles that are not really needed. Okay. Mario can grab. Yes. I already know that. Run away from the Charlie. Guess he's chasing me. Well, this is... I'm still really curious about the level before this. So far, except for the random hurdy thing at the beginning, which obviously the sprite limitation thing is the sprite header is not set right. But, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, nothing's all <laughs> been all too bad. Just things have been disappearing slightly. Uh... Emerald Fortress. Make sure I'll be right back really quick. Okay, back to Emerald Fortress. And let's see what is up in here. Do, do. Blocks and things and blocks and more things and a dead... Actually, quite a few dead thwomps. Thwomps deserve to die! But, yeah, as I said, so far there's not been anything... I mean, the levels are very decent. They are good. Nothing's overly standing out as like, Oh, do more of this, or... Oh. Except for the uh, Charlies. Don't do more of that. Charlies should not be in mass like that. They 
cause a lot of slowdown because they are just resource intensive. Uh, but yeah, I mean, so far it's a very good standard hack. That's kind of mean, though. I will, I will say that right now. Even though you can see it, if you're not paying attention to that side of the screen and you're like, oh, oh no. Yeah, that's a little mean. Uh, Resnor is the keeper of this castle. Defeat him. Yep. Nice little thing, but it's, I mean, it's pretty easy to work out. Everything does not need a tutorial. Though, I am also one of those guys that really believes that games do not need tons and tons of, uh, you know, helpful things to them to tell you what to do. Um, sometimes it is a good idea to carry items till they are needed. Yay! Item carry. Well, that is, I mean, that's kind of mean, because if you, uh, get those coins and you're not sure you need them, you kind of kill yourself, because you can't continue. Do, 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 do. These are fish. They are fish. Uh, have I mentioned how much I'm not a fan of uh, water levels? They can be really good water levels. I just personally feel like they are extremely slow. Which is pretty true because you move a whole lot slower in water than you do on land. Uh, so you run into this, you know, slowness. Which, I mean, this one is actually built pretty decently. It's not overly challenging and lets you kind of swim through it pretty quickly. I'm just not a big fan of water levels in general. Though, I, I do kind of like the fact that there are schools of uh, uh, the blurps. But some of them did disappear. Why is Mario just... Okay, because that was the green switch palace. <laughs> I think you used the wrong level and forgot to turn that message off. That is something you really want to look for. Uh, let's just do Emerald Island 3 really quick. Let's see what this is all about. But yeah, I mean, there's there's something, especially like that, where something really should have been caught. So I think this wasn't exactly play tested in general, which is kind of sad because it's really not that bad of a hack. It just really doesn't, it feels very rough and unfinished. I'm not being careful with my Yoshi. I'm just letting him run everywhere. Though I am getting him back on a fairly frequent basis. And goal. Let's see, is this changed at all? Yes, it is. Is this going like speed up or is this just scrolling slowly? I'm very curious about this now. If it's something I should try and avoid or not. Okay, what is this? Does it just end? Seriously, it just ends. Yeah. That is something to avoid, because... Uh, having the bonus game just end does not actually beat the level. That is, obviously, was never tested. And it never beats the level, because the bonus game triggers the beat level flag if you activate the 
bonus game. So that is something that was a very big oversight and really should be fixed as soon as possible. That is just, that is a bad oversight right there. So now I know, avoid the bonus game at all costs. Anyway, I'm going to stop it here. Iggy's Castle will be next time. This has been Ninja Boy. I'll be back later. See you guys then.